did Ed Sheeran drop the best rock album? Oh my god, I just Come saw on. the picture you chose. I just started dying laughing. Oh man, equal. He's the, he's the Joker, baby. Equals. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, Ed Sheeran. Man, so the, what was the last time we talked about him? A few years back, um, he did that yeah. album where he like rapped a lot on it. Number six collaboration project yes. from 2019. <laughs> his effectively DJ Khaled movie soundtrack type album where he had a ton of guests just come on make songs with him. That was that his was most sad. recent work. His last solo album is a few years older. That was a Divide from 2017 featuring, of course, Shape of You, the biggest song of his career. Yeah, that song is a monster. I'm just I'm looking through uh, number six collaborations project. I'm just, trying, I'm just trying to see if there's any songs here I remember. Uh, I can't take me take one. me to the back to London with a uh, Stormzy. Um, Maybe south of the border, Cardi and Camilla. Those are the songs I like the most. But overall, I didn't have positive things to say about that one. Yeah. Anyways, drops equal this past weekend. Uh, Long awaited album. I don't know if you can say that. I mean, where do you see Ed Sheeran at in like just the music scene right now? He was he was enormous for a few years with Divide. He still is enormous. Let's, is let's, he? He's totally still enormous. Shape of You is the most streamed song on Spotify. Period. Yeah. He's yeah. Cur- but that, that's from 2017, bro. Well, he's currently the number two artist on Spotify right now. Yeah, I guess he's still with, is enormous. Uh, uh, he's right behind Bieber. With I believe seventy five million, uh, that's insane. Almost seventy six yep, million, million monthly listeners for Ed Sheeran right now, which is basically just off of the two singles for Equals, Bad Habits, and Shivers, as well as all the other stuff that's obviously from past work. And again, like he's one of the biggest artists of the twenty tens, bar none. You know, um, oh absolutely, second biggest artist in the UK for the decade after Adele, but overall, um, divide multiply multiple uh, many of those songs including shape of you are just some of the the best-selling uh songs worldwide of the last 10 years he's a huge artist and he also is more ubiquitous than i even realized i was looking he 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 does a lot of songwriting for other people like he he writes almost 10 songs a year it seems like for other people um Mm. including two bts songs he's collaborated with them with um one for a map of the soul persona and then uh permission to dance this year which was like the butter b-side so he he's very active on that in that regard and i guess like the number six collaborations project thing was almost like a holdover project it's like ah this isn't really yeah. my my solo stuff i'll just kind of throw together some stuff with some other a-listers and it'll be successful because i'm ed sheeran but like creatively <laughs> there wasn't much to that you can check our review out on that and now to have equals come out it's like do i know anyone who had like hype for an ed sheeran album of course not but like that's just the thing about Ed Sheeran. He has a way with pop radio melody that it's just, he's part of the machine, but he's made himself part of the machine because he's just so successful at making really accessible pop music. And I, you know, it's really funny too, because you remember when bad habits came out a few months ago, which peaked number two in the country, bad habits was critically panned. Everyone was like, this song sucks. It's so vanilla, so uninspired, so bland, so algorithm, right? Which, by the way, is all true. And yet the song is still very catchy and was a huge hit, you know? So whose opinion really matters at the end of the day? Uh, those 75 million listeners on Spotify yeah. that we are now one of. Um, yeah. <laughs> You know, I, I think that I asked the question and, and I think you really hit the nail on the head because uh, number six collaborations really did feel like a holdover. And just like when he hasn't released an album since 2017, I don't think he's really even been touring um, that much. I mean, I don't really follow Ed Sheeran's tour schedule, but the last few years he hasn't definitely. So he, he's just been, I, I think, uh, less in the music limelight. But yeah, it's 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 undeniable his success and uh I was not aware he's the number two artist on Spotify, which is just mm. nuts. Um, and yeah, he makes really accessible, like you said, inoffensive and catchy pop songs. And that's the recipe for, uh, and, you know, I guess the other thing is that he is not edgy 
in any way. No. I mean, like, like that picture you have behind you is the most edgy thing he's probably done in a very long time. And uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, the Bad Habits music video. <laughs> yeah. And it, it's just funny to to think like there's a lot of moms, a lot of a lot of young uh, kids, a lot of uh, people who just want to listen to inoffensive, catchy songs yeah. and uh, just turn their brain off. And this is what he makes. And I think that continues on equal. Um, I, I think there might be there might be a couple of moments. You know, he he does he does the uh, the 80s pop sound on here a couple of times, which, you know, you have to do if you're a pop. Why artist. not? And also he's Ed Sheeran, so he can make a song like that in his sleep. You know, it's yeah, not that exactly. much of a challenge for him. Yeah, him and Charlie Puth, same same bloodline there. Just, oh my God, Puth, wake please. Up and make it so I need that new Puth album, though, dude. I'm excited <laughs> for that whenever that finally comes. Well, one it. of my favorite TikToks recently was Benny Blanco uh, filming Charlie Puth, filming a TikTok where he's, he's like making a song and just like clowning on him. It's really funny. But, oh, yeah. Well, what were you saying? I'm sorry, I cut you off. No, I think with Equals, it sounds like an Ed Sheeran album. And at this point, you know what that means. He has a brand, as you were saying. He has a really wide, broad brand. He's a corny guy. He's not threatening in any way, you know. Mm -hmm. And he rolls with the corniness, you know. He knows how to handle it uh, when you know people shit on him, and he doesn't care because at the end of the day, he's la laughing all the way to the bank. Um, again, it sounds like an Ed Sheeran album, which also means creatively, it's not like anything special either. Like this is not some new path forward for ed right it's just more ed sheeran so there's some catchy songs there's some ballads and then we're done you know it's just it's just what you expect from him um there's some songs i like but you know i think overall i, I was kind of down on the ballads on this one obviously he's had some successful ballads in his day like the a-team uh like um I guess lo lo love yourself for Justin Bieber kind of ballady, you know, like he he's made his name on a slower song too, but I, I didn't really think too many of those jumped out at me this time. Like, uh, like was it a uh, first times where he talks about like performing for 80,000 people at Wembley. I was like, ah, okay. You know, miss me with the ballads. I, I just kind of want the catchy shit, honestly. Yeah. Uh, I didn't think the ballads worked all that great. Um, like the Joker and the queen, I don't know. Didn't really work for me. <laughs> um, you know, going back to the songs though, that did work for us, I guess, like jumping to that. Um, I did like the 80s uh, pop song Overpass Graffiti. Uh, yeah, that one's good. Got a little like aha type drums going on there. Appreciated that. Um, I thought Two Step was okay. Yeah, um, that's my favorite song, Two Step. You know, when he gets that like cadence was like da, 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 da. Yeah. It, it just works for him like it just like i get why people like it um i don't know uh i guess nothing else really stood, stood up too much i thought the second half like the last run nothing really caught me too yeah. much more like the oh it, of the album. it after two step i think it's a it's a death march i'm like really <laughs> really bored at the end you know uh yeah but I, I think two steps really catchy. And as you said, that flow, like that, that like more faster up tempo cadence he does, you know, kind of hip hop inspired. Uh, I think mm -hmm. he, he handles that one well. Uh, I also, I like the second single, Shivers. I actually think that it is a little better than Bad Habits. Kind of similar to his past, you know, formula for his big hit songs. But, uh, you know, I think it's still, still catchy, still fun, even if it's like, you know, nothing, nothing, nothing fancy. But uh, so, yeah, I mean that that that's kind of it. Like I don't know. I, I like I, I think the, the the music is what the music is with him at this point. I know uh, when I before we were recording the podcast, they just seeing the three artists we were talking about. I was like, I don't know if there's any like anything new with these artists. It's just kind of the same right. old. I think War on Drugs might have added the most to the repertoire with their album, and even them it was like uh, fringe type stuff. But um, you know, just looking at his albums here, he started off with Plus, moved on to. X slash multiply. Then we had divide run to equal signs. We got to get a minus in there, right? I guess it's got to be the next one. Yeah, that's the last one. You're right. Got it. Got to do it. I wonder why I didn't do that before. Plus, equal. Multiply, divide, equals. That's right. Yes. Kind of cut corners doing equals already. You think minus would have came first. I know. Maybe, maybe that. that's supposed to be, I don't know. When you think of minus, think of subtracting things. Maybe mm. he needs to go through a breakup first or something. Tough scene. Yeah, well, uh, Ed Sheeran, I, I guess we'll we'll probably add uh, two step onto the 
Nostalgia Best 2021 on Spotify. Give that a follow and share it with all of your friends.